Let's step into the extraordinary life of Marsha P. Johnson, a remarkable LGBTQ plus rights pioneer celebrated for her enduring achievements. Marsha's journey is an incredible story of personal triumph and activism marked by her key role in co-founding the Gay Liberation Front and her significant contribution to the Stonewall Uprising. Join us as we explore the life and remarkable accomplishments of a woman who not only stood up for home rights, but also sparked a revolution that reshaped LGBTQ plus history. Before we begin, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider joining our channel. Your support helps us fund videos like this one and others that so desperately need to be told. And now back to the video. In the bustling alleyways of Greenwich Village in the heart of New York City, one figure stands out in the crowd with their bold style and unwavering smile, Marsha P. Johnson. Born on August 24, 1945, in Elizabeth, New Jersey, Marsha was much more than a transgender African American in a time when being accepted for different was a real luxury. Her life was a symphony of courage, perseverance, and love that resonated deeply in the LGBTQ plus rights movement. From an early age, Marsha defied societal norms. Being born a male, she was drawn to the feminine clothing from the age of five, challenging the critical gaze of those who didn't understand her authenticity. Despite the harassment and violence she faced, Marsha forged her path with determination, carrying a smile that brightened even the darkest of days. Upon arriving in New York City with just $15 in a bag of clothes, Marsha encountered a world full of challenges. The 1960s were a time when gay rights were virtually non-existent and police violence was rampant. Yet, in the face of adversity, Marsha found her voice at the heart of the LGBTQ plus rights movement for equality. The famous raid on the Stonewall Inn in 1969 marked a turning point. It was at this moment that Marsha emerged as a beacon of hope and resistance. Her participation in the first gay pride parade in 1970 was a bold step towards visibility and acceptance. However, Marsha was not content with mere visibility. She tirelessly fought for the inclusion in transgenders and LGBTQ plus people of color in the movement. Alongside her friend Sylvia Rivera, she founded the Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries, also known as STAR, in 1970, an organization dedicated to providing shelter for transgender gender youth rejected by the families. The Star House, initially located in an abandoned truck and later in a rundown building, became a symbol of safety and support for those facing the same circumstances she had endured in her youth. Marsha's personality was a unique blend of joy, courage, and determination. Her ever-present smile, despite adversity, became a symbol of hope for the LGBTQ community. Her outgoing nature and love for the colorful world of drag led to her to perform with the Hot Peaches, a group that caught the attention of influential artist Andy Warhol, who included her in his 1975 print series titled, Ladies and Gentlemen. Marsha not only challenged societal norms, but also the art industry itself, demanding a space for people like her in a world that often went ignored. In 1990, when she was diagnosed with HIV, Marsha became a passionate advocate for those facing the stigma of the disease. In an interview in June 1992, she bravely challenged prejudices, demanding understanding and acceptance of those living with HIV. Marsha's tragic death on July 6, 1992, at the age of 46, shook the LGBTQ community. Although initially considered a suicide, many people close to Marsha, as well as the community as a whole, suspected that she had been a victim of murder. In a year that was already considered the worst in terms of anti-LGBTQ plus violence, according to the New York City Anti-Violence Project, her loss resonated deeply, reminding us of the struggles still faced by the community. Marsha P. Johnson's legacy lives on today. Her courage and determination has been honored in the city she loved. In 2019, the city of New York announced a monument in her name, making her the first transgender woman immortalized in a monument in the city. A waterfront park in Brooklyn was also born of her name since 2020, reminding future generations of the importance of her fight and her indomitable spirit. Marsha P. Johnson, with her infectious laughter and fearless spirit, continues to be a source of inspiration for those fighting for equality and acceptance worldwide. Her life, marked by courage and resilience, continues to light the way toward a more inclusive and understanding future for all people, regardless of their gender identity or sexual orientation. In every proper parade and in every corner of where LGBTQ plus communities raise its voice, Marsha's spirit endures, reminding us that love and its acceptance are a fundamental right that we all deserve. If you learned anything in this video, consider liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and sharing this video with someone to help spread the word on black inventors and American black history so that these heroes will never be forgotten. See you in the next video.